homeless woman in Metro tonight. Police say she robbed a restaurant and then threw a chemical on one of the employees. Well, it happened yesterday at El Rincon Tacos and Grill on Theodore Dawes Road. Fox News Lee Peck on the story for us today. And Lee, you actually have surveillance video of this crime taking place. I do, Byron Lanise. It's a wild story. The restaurant's manager tells me they've seen her before. Just last week, she paid for a taco using coins. However, this week, no payment involved, and it's what happened after a foot chase ensued that really took employees by surprise. It may have been Taco Tuesday at El Rincon Tacos and Grill, but this patron bypassing the front door, instead letting herself into the back storage area, normally locked, she was able to get inside. Unfolding yesterday around 1.30, she was in there for a little over two minutes. The manager tells me she'd help herself to a drill, some fabuloso, and this huge chunk of meat from the freezer. But it was nowhere near a clean getaway. This is what we call a true caught in the act. As she exits the storage room, an employee comes out the back door, catching her red-handed, or in this case, red meat-handed. With the meat, drill, and fabuloso on hand, she takes off behind the building. Take a look at this. Employees running out the back door through this alleyway chase her to this brown utility pole. That's where she drops the meat, runs to the neighboring parking lot, where we're told the altercation took place. The suspect is identified as 48-year-old Kelly Trammell. According to jail records, she's homeless. The manager tells me at some point Trammell threw a chemical on one of the employees before running across seven lanes of traffic on Theodore Dawes to this car wash. By now, Mobile police were already en route, arresting her a short time later. Paramedics also checking out the employee who was not injured. Meanwhile, we're told Trammell also had several stakes in her bag. It's unclear where those came from. And the manager at El Rincon tells me they believe the chemical that was used was some sort of soap used to wash dogs. Again, the employee was uninjured. Meanwhile, Trammell remains in Metro tonight, charged with robbery and two counts of probation revocation. Live tonight in studio, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.